Hey, what's going on, everybody? So, um, I'm reading Romans, what is it, 12? Or at least audiobook it as I'm driving. And I thought it was really interesting um, because it says, like, you know, allow God to change the way you think, you know? So that's repentance, to change to change your mind, to change the way you think, and therefore you change your behaviors. And so another, but also it's paired with change, uh, do not believe yourself to be higher than you are, you know, or how you think you should think of yourself. And I think that's really interesting because, um, and, uh, how, uh, sorry, should be doing that. Um, Romans 11 speaks about how God's sovereignty draws you to him. And essentially, since it's all by faith, all by you believing without proof, essentially, God, just like Abraham, when he started, when he gave him the covenant, covenant, you didn't have to do anything. You just trust and believe what God is doing and what he, he already did. What he did in Christ, what he's doing with you now as a Christian, as a believer. So now... When he's building you up to be this this glorious thing, especially for the world to see, by his power, you you we still have to act and move in the world, but we shouldn't think of ourselves ourselves in this newer, uh, refined, sanctified, like God state any better than we should. And there's one thing uh, where the Bible also encourages us to give thanks. You know, give thanks when we ask for prayers, when we ask for things for God, we uh, thank Him for what He's already did. And the peace of God will come over us as we ask. We thank, we uh, appreciate, we ask, and the peace will come. So it's it's this kind of continuous relationship of, of warm gratitude as we continue to move in this life and be transformed via the Holy Spirit to be more like God in Christ. Well, God in Christ or God through Christ. So, um, if there's anything to take from this, I guess, uh, it's just, um, just remember, in terms of this faith thing, you didn't have any part of it. When you got, it's kind of like love, you know, when you when you meet somebody and those pheromones hit and stuff like that, that was outside of you. And ironically, that person, you know, when you get that moment when you really just like, you see a person and, you know, you feel feelings and you can't really pinpoint them, but it's like something there, something's about this person. Um, it's just like the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, it, it, you don't know when it's coming and going, but it happens, you know. And when you came to faith as a believer, it happened, you know, just like with, I'm sorry, I'm saying you know a lot. It's just like with... C.S. Lewis, when he said, I, I always think about this when I'm driving, that C.S. Lewis, he said he was having a drive and that dude was an atheist before and he came to faith on his, on a drive. And I just think about that, like, you know, God can really capture you anywhere, anywhere, doing anything. And some people, they get captured, you know, even what's his name? I think his name, Gideon or something like that. He got captured, you know, but I think he was already a believer. It's just when he, at this point in his career for some reason whoever who knows he got convicted i think he said somebody talked to him like an evangelist talked to him you know you know like a regular believer i had a moment like that recently uh maybe like a month ago and it, it was like at a crucial time where i was like i was i was not feeling very hot and then a dude just came through just random guy and i know exactly how evangelism is because I've, I've done it myself and it's scary stuff because you never know how people are going to react and i always I sometimes wonder to myself, like, man, am I really a believer? Because he talked, he reached to me. But at the same time, I also, um, I think God still reaches out to us, you know. And I, I had a little Bible study, uh, probably shortly after that moment. And it just reaffirmed my faith and stuff like that. Um, and it's just, I don't, it made me think about deconstructionism. But that's, that's a whole different topic. I guess I'll talk about it eventually. But um, about this this concept, you know, faith, faith. You can't just be, you can't force, just like when love happens, you can't really force love to happen. You know, you can't force uh, yourself to just, uh, I guess, fall, fall in love. In the same way, 
with the spirit. You don't know when it's coming, but it, it's coming, you know. So that that saving knowledge is um it, it does hit. It's, it does hit like 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 love, like like those fair pheromones, you know. So I guess that's it. I mean, that faith is really important, but don't don't put too much stock in yourself because it's not like you didn't you didn't gain this faith, this this belief. That belief came on you somehow, and it, we all have a bunch of testimonies and stories as to how we got there. But um, we can never force it, you know. It's just something that uh, happens, and it eventually it changes our lives. So, yeah, that's it.